Hey what's going on everybody, George Gesha here and welcome to the second and probably last part of the GTA 5 to real life transformation videos. Last time we made some very significant changes to the world and gameplay of GTA 5 and if you haven't watched that video I'd highly recommend that you do so as in that one we laid the foundation for what will continue today. As always I'll have all the mods linked in the description under a base bin link plus additional notes and instructions. By the way I'm not the creator of any of the mods shown in the previous video or the ones that I'll show in this one. And now let's begin. So last time we added a bunch of new ways to make money and today we continue with some more. Starting with three mods by the same author, we first have a tow truck job that will have you move around broken vehicles, waste transport which will have you transport garbage from construction sites and forklift where you have to load crates on a trailer. All of them are pretty simple and pay the same amount of money. We also bring back an absolute classic, Pizza Boy, where for a limited time you have to deliver pizzas for customers and get paid each time you do so. There's also a delivery job where first you have to decide how many packages you want to deliver, then choose a delivery car and start going to the addresses. Once there you need to get off the vehicle and deliver the package at the door before continuing with the next one. Last time we also made it possible for you to buy hot dogs, well guess what, now you can also sell them. But no, seriously, you can go to the store, buy some groceries, open your hot dog stand and make whatever the customer is asking for. And here's one that's even weirder, fishing. Buy yourself a fishing rod from the store, go to literally any place where there's water and start fishing, then sell your catch at the pier. Though, be prepared for some weird encounters because the San Andreas waters are kinda strange. Also, a newly released roleplay mode will allow you to do everything that the rest of the pedestrians can do, like sitting and leaning and stuff. And while I don't think that that's particularly useful, the mod also allows you to perform yoga or play a musical instrument for which you might get thrown some extra bucks. Also, when doing these activities, every few seconds you'll be prompted to click a key in order to keep up the activity. So now that you've made some money, why not put it in a bank account? At each ATM you can now deposit or withdraw a certain amount of money and also check your balance, to which by the way, interest will be applied. And now that you've got your money sorted, it's time to spend it. Last time we made it possible for you to buy cars, so now we'll expand that to also include boats, planes, helicopters, trucks and whatever else you can afford, there's plenty of things to choose from. Once again, each one is customizable and can be taken for a test drive before purchasing it. Additionally, since you can now own so many different types of vehicles, we'll also update our fuel mod, which unlike the one from last time, now supports all the vehicles that we mentioned, and each one can be refueled at specific locations depending on its type. Helicopters at helipads, planes in hangars, and boats in very few port locations. The mod also supports electric vehicles and their charge is shown with a blue bar. Those you can recharge at special stations around the map where you have to leave them for a couple of in-game hours before they are ready, or at your home where you also have the option to use a third party sleep mode to pass time which will skip the recharging time. Now back to the spending part, we already mentioned homes, so why don't you choose from one of 40 apartments and homes across San Andreas and buy one. To do that you can use the property management contact in your phone from where you can also sell your estates. Each one comes with its own unique style and look and some places can even be customized according to your taste. All of them come with their own garages and if you need more space you can always buy one separately. Each vehicle saved in your garage will become a personal vehicle that you can then have delivered to you using the mechanic contact in your phone. And if it gets damaged Moore's Mutual Insurance can have it fixed for you. If that's not enough, why don't you invest in one of 37 properties around town that's going to bring you money on a daily basis with a percentage change. To buy one, just tap on the marker to see the property's price and its income and call Global Invest on your phone. And in a similar way, you can also sell your properties. From the same contact, you can also see everything that you currently own. If you want something less responsible, why don't you buy yourself a scratch card or pick your numbers in the San Andreas lottery. Then from the history tab you can see the drawings for each of the tickets that you've bought and wait and see if you want something. Or maybe you want to bet on greyhound races. Similar to horse races from GTA San Andreas, you can place a bet on a dog of your choice and watch the race to see if you picked properly. Now let's switch it up for some improvements in a different direction. The medics in the game are pretty useless by default, so we can make them actually revive people. Problem is that they revive everyone regardless of the way they died, so a good alternative to that is a coroner service. 
These guys will show up each time there is a murder, they'll document the scene and bug the body before leaving, and they are pretty good at their job. Also, if you're on the road and get into an accident, you can now get out of your car and fix the engine yourself with the time it takes depending on the amount of damage to the engine. Similarly, you can take additional care for your car by cleaning it from dirt yourself instead of paying for a car wash. If you're having a really bad day, you can now use a winch to try and resolve your problems and it's also a nice way for transportation if you've got the right vehicle. But an even better one is a flatbed, which is now fully functional and can be very useful if, say, you run out of fuel in the middle of nowhere. And if you don't need your car anymore, you can always sell it by putting it on display and it will eventually find a buyer, for which you'll be notified. Now if you're really into the RPG stuff, there's also the dynamic beard and hair growth, similar to the one from Red Dead Redemption 2, which will make them grow a bit every two days, after which you can go to either the barber or shave at your home bathroom. Now for some smaller and I guess optional mods, we first have the news helicopter like in previous GTA games. Actual gun recoil, which is different for each weapon and will make heavier weapons much harder to shoot. Shrapnel from explosions, which does damage to both the environment and also the people around it, including the player. Realistic jet engines that blow everything in their way. Filling your health or getting into water cleans your wounds. Vehicles don't explode on impact. And finally, vehicle seat belt and seat shuffling. Last time we tackled the police system, but we didn't really change the fundamental ways that it works in. So with the help of an AI overhaul mod, we will first ensure that pedestrians no longer have super hearing and vision, making suppressors and melee weapons actually silent. And secondly, we will make sure that every crime is first witnessed and then reported to the police using a phone, thus making stealth in the game totally possible. Keep in mind that a pedestrian can still alert someone if they scream or make some other type of noise. But thanks to these features, you'll no longer get a wanted level for shooting your weapon in the middle of nowhere. But it also means that everything is now in the hands of the San Andreas citizens and sometimes due to one reason or another it might take some time before someone calls the cops on you. This mod will also increase the detection range for police officers making it harder to hide or run from them and I also use longer evasion times which means that the police is going to look for you for longer before giving up. Which is useful as cops no longer have a sixth sense so they are only aware of your last location after which you can literally play hide and seek with them. Plus hiding in your vehicle is now a lot more effective as they now have to get much closer to see you. Sadly this mod is incompatible with the main features of Better Chases Plus that we added last time, a mod that is anyways a bit outdated at this point. Anyway, if you're like me and the only feature from Better Chases Plus that you care about is the arrest warrant, you can actually only leave that module enabled and disable everything else and it should work fine. Fighting in GTA 5 is also extremely boring, so we'll add a mod that lowers the damage for all melee attacks and melee weapons in order for you to have longer fights, with some pedestrians now being able to take a much longer beating and things like baseball bats not killing instantly anymore. Optionally, there's also this newly released mod that in addition to what we already mentioned, also adds a ton of new fighting animations for any type of melee combat, there's also new blocking techniques, weapon takedowns and many many more, and it makes the melee combat in GTA 5 much much better. We also didn't mention vehicles the previous time and here we only increase the vehicle deformation with one that will keep it in reasonable limits. So unlike other such mods, your car won't bend in half from a mere bump into something. And since I'm not particularly a fan of handling mods, I'm using True Realistic Driving which is a script that's much less invasive but still brings a great change to the driving experience. Finally, since we only changed a handful of the police force with their real-life counterparts in the last video, today we expand that to all emergency services and agencies. Not only the LAPD, but also the Sheriff's Department, Highway Patrol, new and more SWAT models, FBI, paramedics, fire department, coast guard and the park rangers, as well as anything else that we didn't change last time. Optionally, though it's a bit of a hassle to install, there's also the FBI and CIA buildings that we can bring into the game completed with their interiors. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for the mod from this video and now I'll show you some gameplay. But if you're enjoying the video so far, a like or a sub would be appreciated. Also, if you want to see even more of these mods in action, you can watch the first episode of a new series that I've started on my channel. And now, enjoy!